So you're watching this very closely. Give me something that you see and judge when you see him this year, that he looks even better than normal. Well, his athleticism, which was always very good, feels to me better than ever. And it, that's important because whoever pays him moving forward, you do I, I mean, I found it interesting. You said the only knock on him is age and injury. That's like saying the only knock on my lead actor is he can't remember his line and he's allergic to makeup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is like those are big deals yeah. moving forward. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, he's going to be a free agent. You know, his first season will be 31. He has, in three of his six years, he didn't play a lot of games because he was injured. The fact of how athletic he is, he's played center field well. Mm. It's, a, it's a, when you think about most valuable, I know people just want to look at the cold, hard stacks. I think narrative has to be part of it, and then I know people will say, well, your narrative isn't my narrative. But one of the reasons the Yankees are so good this year is Aaron Hicks wasn't playing well in center field defensively or overall. This allowed them to get him e – out of center field and off the field more often, it's made them a better team. And that athleticism says something about, can I believe he'll be good for a long period of time? Right. Uh, Steve, let me ask you, the initial deal, we haven't spoken about this. Seven years, the Yankees put out there at basically 30.5 average annual value. What did you make of that offer? I thought it was the right number. I did. I thought, you know, it took into account the desire to keep him there. It took into account the injury factor, the history and everything else. But... You know, when Judge declined it, I thought, geez, you know, I mean, I like his guts. I wouldn't ask him for financial advice, but I love the guts that he had to turn that down. But he's, look, he's going out and getting it done right now. My biggest concern, there aren't six foot seven baseball players. Mm -hmm. I mean, who are they? He's the one. Like, there aren't guys like that. And the reason there aren't a lot of base, six foot seven baseball players like that is because the body doesn't work in baseball. And so that's the concern for a team that has interest in him. And the Yankees were willing to put that aside is can a six foot seven baseball player with all those long leverages and limbs be able to stay healthy for the long term to continue to try to produce when he's had the health history? You see, didn't we think that before he came up and now he's kind of proven that? Look, O'Neill Cruz is a six seven shortstop for the Pirates. So it's almost like the Cal Ripken thing, right? It's like you can't be six foot four and play shortstop. Well, until a six foot four yeah, guy six does it. Four right. and six seven are so different, though. Six foot seven, there's nobody like them. And so he's talking about the swing and the rotation and everything and running the bases and you know covering the ground in the outfield. Right. But he's That's doing the it. Biggest Where, uh, concern for him. Weigh in on that, Ruben. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, I, I agree with Steve in, in that uh, regard. My, for me, a six-seven player, and it's not just he's a, a lean six-seven. This is a big man, and for him to be able to stay in, in center field, I can't imagine that he would be there in, in the next two or three years. I just don't think it, he's a great athlete. There's no question about it. But his size, and not just his size, but the girth of the, the man. I mean, he's he's a gigantic person, and when you have that kind of size, it's so difficult to be able. To to stay on the field consistently. We've already seen him with the issues that he's had mm -hmm. health-wise. And I love the fact that he has tightened up his strike zone. I mean, he's he lightens, he reminds me a little bit of Barry Bonds in that he tightened up that one spot in his swing that uh, was once a hole. It's no longer a hole. And, mm -hmm. and that's a that's a very, very telling uh, thing about the player, but I'll tell you what, um, it's hard for me to imagine that he's going to be a center fielder for very long. Yeah, no, I, don't, I think this is a, like a gift if it's this year or next year. Where are you on the hike? Because I thought he's debunking it, except the durability has been an issue. He has had those issues. Well, I mean, just to give you an idea of his size, I mean, he lockers relatively close to Giancarlo Stanton. He's bigger. I mean, it's noticeably Way bigger, bigger much than bigger. Stanton, <laughs> who's enormous right, <laughs> yes. for a baseball right. player. He's, but, but See, BK, the question I was always asking, this is what all general managers, all teams are going to have to do after the season, is not have the runaway emotion of the moment. When he is arguably the MVP of the American League, he's getting big hits for a team that might win 120 games in New York, the biggest star. Right, right. You know, you're going to take the deep breath. And the question I would ask, and I think he deserves a lot of money, is do you think his next six years – will be better and healthier than the previous six years. It's usually not the case. That's usually right. not the case right. for right. any size player right. Right. going from right. age 31 to right. 36, 37. In this case, he's going to need more than six years. He hasn't been healthy for half of them. Mm -hmm. To Steve's point, we have no idea. Like Frank Howard, Richie Sexton, like there's not a ton of people where I could do comps in a sport where I live on comps. He's going to get a ton of money. My suspicion is it will come from mm. the Yankees. My suspicion is he'll have earned it because he's such a good player. But you don't want, like when people say that to, now, the Yankees should give him whatever he wants. 
slow down. Let's not make it that, like, I'd like to play poker with you if this is right. when you want to make decisions. Like, now's right. not the time right. to make that decision. Yeah, well, you witnessed, like, we talked about the Nationals when it was Rendon and Strasburg. Like, everything looked great. By the way, those guys looked fantastic at the time. Judge looks that great. 